Hey there, this is Dr. Doug Willen. A question that I get a lot is, is thyroid disease or thyroid problems hereditary? It's pretty much yes, because we do see it run in families and that's something that you should keep in mind. So if your mother or your aunt or someone in your family has thyroid disease or low thyroid or high thyroid or Hashimoto's, which is the autoimmune thyroid, get checked. So when you're doing your blood work and you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and you feel like you have trouble losing weight, you're cold all the time, you're gaining weight, your hair, skin, and nails are what, they're not what they should be, ask your doctor to make sure they're running a thyroid panel every time you get your blood work. We want to see that come up. Now, having said that, 13 million Americans have undiagnosable low thyroid, which means that they go to the doctor year after year, they suspect they have symptoms, but it's just not showing up in their blood work. That's a good person to try my natural thyroid support because while you're waiting for a full-blown medical diagnosis, if you feel run down, if you feel like you need more pep in your step, you want more energy, you want better mental clarity, then you could always try my thyroid support while you're waiting on a medical diagnosis. However, if you are taking thyroid medication, and you still feel like you're a little sluggish or you just need a little extra, you can always piggyback my thyroid support on the meds that you're already taking. But I would leave that alone. So if you just started meds, don't take anything, not even my product for the first six months, get retested, see if you can get into a little zone with your medication, try to get it right. If you do have family members that have the low thyroid, hyperthyroid, which is excessive thyroid, or Hashimoto's thyroid, you must include it in your blood work so that your doctor is on top of checking to see if there's a family pattern for you. Thanks.